Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video for, what is it, Friday, November the 4th, 2022. Uh, as we've said repeatedly, our approach to trading is scalable to whatever time frame suits you. Darko, my coach's corner partner on the right, uh, teaches longer term trading like swing trading and position trading. I focus on short term trading, uh, scalping or even micro scalping. But for either approach, we use the same analysis and we only have a few patterns that we use for taking trades. And in this video, I'm going to go over a micro scalp showing the trade setup and the pattern that resulted in a trade potential of uh, more than five to one reward risk. So let's get right to it. And if you like this video, it would be very cool if you could give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the button in the lower right corner of the video. So uh, I hope you find this video useful in some way for your own trading. Okay, so here is the trade. Okay, so here we go. The, the, the trade was on the Canadian dollar Japanese yen pair. And again, this is a micro scalp. And for micro scalping, we use time frame combinations of four hour, one hour, and then five minute charts for getting into the trade. So uh, let's have a look at the four hour chart. And if you, we have a, um, um, a way of reading um, trend and potential changes in trend using a concept called advanced market flow, which my coach's corner partner Darko introduced to our CC community, boy, back in 2017, actually uh, five years ago this month. So um, we had this, uh, this is a four hour chart. We have it rallying up and this big, huge red candle here is the Japanese central bank intervention. And it caused a big, um, what we call a bearish rotation in this currency pair on this time frame, and since then, between this in this range in here, we've had nothing but movement chop within it. Um, you know, up and down hasn't really broken out of this range at all. So, and we're recently we're heading down now. If we go down to the one hour chart, you have to look at this and go, okay, is this thing going up or down? Well, it's pretty obviously going down uh, until right as I'm recording this, we could be seeing a change in here. In fact, we are seeing a change, but. Stay with me here as price. This is actually just classic price movement where price drops and rallies and drops and rallies and drops and rallies. And all these little rallies when trend, when price is trending down are trading opportunities because these old support levels um, are potentially resistance levels. Like in here, you know, up in here and in here and in here, etc. And again, when price hits it here, you can see this this support support for quite a long time and then we have this big drop here when price drops uh, impulsively like this and you can see that the majority of the body of this candle is contained below this level of support that's negative then it starts to establish below here in other words it, it the whole the entire candle stays below this line it's a negative thing to see happen and then as we come back up to the line, we're now thinking about a selling opportunity, but not yet because this is still a bullish candle. This is a uh, like a spinning top candle. And then this candle right here is our telltale candle. They went actually a little bit higher and then we had a um, what's called a, a pin bar reversal. And it's one of our pattern setups actually. We call it an ACAT advanced candle action trade because not only does it have to be a pin bar reversal, but it has to have certain uh, uh, characteristics for, for getting into the trade, which were met on this candle. However, when I trade these uh, small micro, um, micro scalp trades or even scalping trades, I always prefer 79% retracements on my entry time frame to get in. And um, when you go down to the, when you look at this candle action on a five minute chart, which is our entry time frame, right? So we go down to here. That happened right in here. Okay, this this action right here, actually, let me just zoom this in for you. You can see it real clearly here. This action here created that one hour pin bar reversal. You can see how it came down. It broke these lows in here. See this low here and in here and it actually closed below it. Well, that's a negative sign. So as it rallies up, there's a selling opportunity right here and it's always a higher high stop. And uh, you know we have specific ways to put that stop up there. Or you go for a deeper retracement, which uh, happened uh, up in this area up in here. So um, that sell, as price came down, what you can do is look for, uh, here I'll just put the fibs on here. You can look for extension levels, like these in here. 
here and here from this high to this low to take profits at. And in fact, this 162% extension level, that's the extension from this high to this low, that happened to come to the same level as uh, right here. I'll just, uh, here, I'll put in, I'll just put, I'll just move this down just to show you. See this level right here? That's a pretty good level. And as price came down and hit that level, I'll show you on the five minute chart again, you can see it's the very same level as 162% retracement. Um, so that's a that's a very, very good place to take a profit too. That's a, a two and a half to one reward risk. Even taking it to here was about a two to one reward risk. Nothing wrong with it. These are like short term scalp trades. Okay, so um, don't, uh, you know, try to get too cutesy with them. There's nothing wrong with that kind of a, a profit. It's really, really good. Now for the, um, if you want to be more aggressive with a trade like this, uh, you can look at the next level down because don't forget we are in a strong downtrend right lower highs and lower lows on the hourly chart where's the ex next expected stopping point down here well if you zoom out and you look left that's a pretty cool level right here right so we always use the bodies of the candles here for our our to mark our levels and it hits it here and you know since that happened now this became a five to one reward risk trade down here but that's a very sweet little profit and then it's gone way up since then. The thing is this, uh, this, I'm, I'm showing you all of this in hindsight. Okay. This all happened earlier today. How you took profit on it, what you did with it is going to be different from one trader to the next. And there's no right or wrong. I'm telling you that it's, uh, it's good to take profits at levels like this. The fact that it went down here, you'd have to be comfortable holding it and, and all that. And that's why I can never say what anybody's particular results are. They, uh, results are because they all vary depending on their own, you know, personal psychological makeup, their ability to hang into a trade. You can say, oh, I would like to get this down here, but can you do it? Because when price comes down and hits this level here and starts to bounce around, oh, then it starts to rally and make higher highs. Is this going to get into your head? Is it going to start to affect the way you think? Are you then going to jump out of the trade just before it drops like this? You might. And the most important thing is that you have some kind of a plan. Trade management is always going to be an individual decision, but by adhering to some good solid basics of risk reduction or elimination and going for good logical re uh, reward risk levels, you can look forward to some positive overall results because you will have a solid, uh, a solid trading plan that is quite objective. So I hope you can see how we are very adamant that trades must set up according to our plan, like, okay, on how we want to see appropriate price action at key levels of support resistance on our higher time frames, no matter what the trading style is. And then we need to see a valid pattern that gives us a low risk, high reward trading opportunity. Okay. I post these kind of trades as they occur for our coaches corner members, because it helps to constantly reinforce the entire trading concepts that we teach. And by seeing these setups over and over, it's very beneficial for developing their ability to more easily recognize setups, right? So, uh, you know, if this kind of trading approach is something that you'd be interested in learning uh, and getting more serious about, we'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, there are links to our services in the uh, text below this video or in the email that you received. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great weekend and trading week ahead. Take care.